say all right so first and foremost when i give up it is two yeah how about show me or show you by show me a couple dash you said i'm going to have process and ls are great most and well what each other process in the shoot and it's a salutation so the account they push you to turn to the day and the out you know counseling season or the season is each other one you know once again good entire video here there's basically touching upon faith you know how important faith is because the time that we in you would need faith yeah and matter of fact you must have faith that is how important it is because now just watch i'll just read the news this morning here and as 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 we speak the government of of of, of this place here well on the island of trinidad here they 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 want um they want everybody to take a job and make it mandatory now we know hey we know we're not going to take that you know someone saying we're not going to take that and you know what to not take these things you have to believe in the lord and you also have faith in the lord you also have to have faith because in the time this this is where it is now your faith going to be is whether you're going to stand for your or you're going to stand for this place so faith is a very important thing you understand it at the times that <laughs> there is the holy lord the holy lord mentioned he trying to have he trying to have a faith be more precious than not what a goal the faith is very precious and the time that we in you must have faith so this is hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 you say but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so yeah so you say without you say without faith it, it is impossible to please him so you must have faith let us show you how important faith is as i said the time that we in if you do have faith then you'll be caught in, you'll, you'll be caught into anything you'll be caught up in anything anything will be able to catch you, anything will be able to bring you down lead, lead, lead you away from the lord so you must have this faith you must have this faith to the fact where the scriptures tell you but without faith it is impossible to please him because why when you go back to this one here say now faith faith is a substance of things hoped for the everything of the evidence of things not seen because we not see any things in front of us the things that we hope and for the things that the things that we the things that we need the things that we want to happen um things that we want to receive and so forth we not seen it in front of us meaning that you know the the the, the kingdom the 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 things you know these these stuff that we going to get when when you have Hashem or shall come back now with faith you hope for these things to happen you hope for these things to happen and you would you, you would diligently work your way to please any how about shame or shy so you, you would receive these things but in order you know to do that you must have faith that way it says now faith is a substance the substance of things hoped for the evidence the evidence of things not seen the evidence of things not seen so yeah so somebody might say so with all these things happening here um you know you'll go um there are people saying it now we could go ahead and do this the Lord and come back now or we could go ahead and do that you know that, that is the mindset at the end right but we now know any things that hey at the end like one of, one of the one of the things that that they say that they will receive is a crown from your house shy that is something that we hope for that's something that that we're working forward to so but you know to 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 to, to, to get that to receive that that have faith you know son they say but without faith now John back to the six they say but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him right so yeah so you must have faith you must have faith to to to, um, to please the lord because if you don't have that if you don't have faith in your version your shape you don't have faith then you'll just be the you'll be doing anything because you wouldn't believe you wouldn't hope for anything to, to come ain't you, you wouldn't hope for anything they will just want it to you whatever it is in front of you that is what it is and that is the majority of these people mindset here today they lack faith so what it, what, whatever it is come in front of them at the moment they believe in so with all these stuff that happening right now all these things are taking place around the world people that don't have faith they just basically go and fall into a trap they just basically go and accept and receive anything that is given unto them right now because they, they they don't see far off they they, they 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 don't hope for things you know 
and your faith again your faith will be tested and it's very important to see you see but without faith it is impossible it is impossible it is impossible to please him you know it is impossible to again your faith will be tried and we're coming into that you're trying on your feet you testing of your feet you know would you stand for your or would you stand for something else because many people many people don't have that faith you just hate when they talk you just hate when they, when they speak and so forth i jump to that scripture here this is um this is first first peter chapter one i'll jump to verse six right they say when ye greatly rejoice to know for a season if need be ye are in heaviness to manifold temptations they say that that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold the trial of your faith being much more precious of gold so let's look at the meaning for the word trial that is the meaning of trial you see a formal examination of evidence right you see it test you see a test of the performance qualities or, or suitability of someone or something so it's a test of qualities to test if it's suitable right you see a person's experience or situation that that tests a person's endurance or forbearance to test the endurance or forbearance can understand these things we we, we would be we, we would be going through as, as the scripture says money full of, of of temptations we will be going through heaviness you understand this is things we have to face right so it says verse 7 it said that the trial of the faith being much more precious than of gold that perish it though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and the glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach so yes you try learning your faith hey again we'll be we'll going through that we, we we don't know certain things we're not going to take certain things we're not going to accept in this place certain stuff would be certain stuff that you might be able to do now you won't be able to do in in the coming weeks the coming months but the NID who you rather stand for this place you rather stand for your version your shy so that's just to show you how important your faith is that even the Lord telling here that the trial of your faith be much more much more precious than of coal that perish it much more precious than of coal though it be tried with fire and it's these defies like these afflictions the trials that you'll be put through it, it that might be found unto praise and honor and the glory at the appearing of your shy mashiach so yeah you see it's uh, that is how we, that is what you will be going through yeah, we, we don't know we, yet, it, again you have to prepare your mind that that the things that you will be facing coming up it, it going to be critical it's critical and the only way you're going to see that true is your belief and your faith in your home and shame your side because you don't know this place is going to crumble so why have faith in a place that is going to fall and as you think majority of these people have faith in in in, in this kingdom than than in your shy zone they have faith in this place but they said i'm saying i have faith that this place will come back to its right well it was never it, it was never right in the first place so why faith in this in this place they have faith in the lord thanks for the coming in that that you might be able you might be able to see see certain things you might see you're seeing death you're seeing famines you're seeing pestilence it's all these things that are coming through and the things that will see it through is faith it's a belief in the of Hashem Yahushai, your hope you understand it's a verse 8 it's a whom have we not seen ye love whom have we not seen ye love and go back to verse Hebrews 11 verse 1 the things hopeful the things that ye ain't see but you believe you say whom have we not seen ye love and whom though now ye see him not 
yet believe ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. And that is the thing. When you speak about about Shemi Osha, it's joy. We rejoice. Uh, here we see plenty of times even when we open up we say Kalalali Abba Shemi Oshai or we say all praises to Abba Shemi Oshai you know what I'm let's say verse 9 let's say re receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls even the salvation of your souls that's how important faith is and the thing about faith is that we have to have that let's read in let's read in some of the news this morning you can see where the testing of your faith going to come. The testing of your faith going to be. You know, we, we hey, at the end of the day, the, the apostles and elders, they in the middle of it. They in the middle of it. The, the apostles, the elders, the Akim, all around the world, they, they, they in the middle. You know, some of the brothers in America, they in the middle. Facing it heavy. We ourselves facing it. As I say. When you're, you're reading the news, as I was reading the news just now, you can see where the testing of, 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 of the brothers on, the, on this side here will be. And we don't know it. The sincere archaeum, they, they, they're preaching to continue doing the work. So they, they're already preparing their mind for waiters to come. Hey, that is what the Lord tell you. Um, that's roughly paraphrasing. Um, to put to put them above your family and all these other things, you know. I mean, if you're like a blood family and so forth, it's because hey, in the time to come, you're gonna lose that your job, your certain things, your job. Hey, you see, your job is at stake right now, and we don't know plenty of people is going to take that that job. Plenty of these hey, all these students are gonna take that job matter of fact. Because they, they, they do have that faith. They, 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 just, they just see right here. This is this is the furthest that they are said to go right here. This place. We see a far we see far on. That is where our faith lies. A far on with your Hashem Hey. Okay. So let's talk about the land being barren of faith. It is a powerful thing, powerful, powerful thing. This is this is what we need, especially in the time that we're in. I remember the name of the movie I was watching. The picture hit in my head. I just can't remember. But it was it was like an, a a post-apocalyptic um scene, and everybody was lost. Everybody was just. You know, like lost, they know what to do, they were just accepting everything. And this one person, he had faith and belief. Even though he was going through trials and tribulation, way, be, uh, way beyond anything, he still had faith and belief. And he sees his way through. While the rest was just lost. A powerful thing. The second Corinthians 5 or 7. They say for we walk by we walk by faith, not by sight. Again, with faith you see far, you see, you see far beyond. But with sight, you just seen right what is in front of you. You seen what it is right in front of you. So the things that come in, you're going and you're going and take. The things that come in, you're going and receive. Because that is all you could see where it is happening right here. So, so a person with all that faith would, would obviously but like with the news that I, I read this morning they go in and take that job but again they, their sight is right here you know so the scripture says well, for we walk by faith and not by sight This is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. You know, 
I wanted to pop the article for the news, but due to in the YouTube, it pop certain things, they go and flag the video, you're going to take it down if you talk about it, and all this other stuff. Most likely, I might do a separate video to that, you know. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. So, it's, and again, the faith. Faith in the Lord. You don't know your faith in the Lord. You don't know the, the, the decisions, the things they're gonna make in the time to come. He He will oversee that. He's already overseeing it. Yes, you trust in the Lord, and that is what that is what we do. That's what we do. We have faith in your Hashem. This is First Corinthians chapter two verse five. Say um. It say that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And that is where we faith lie. That is where we faith lie. That is where we hope. That is where we believe. Because we faith lie in the power of your Hashem Yahweh. You understand? That is where we faith lie. With Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, so with that, we give our praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Makakodash. We said that our supporters and elders are great, most friendly, well. And salutations to the Akamans, we push from the children's trade, Dean and the old. We are continuing the season of the season, we say, Shalom.